step from primary to secondary school, just how they would cope with lesson changes, different teachers, moving from class to class. Yeah, I was. Um, I probably had reservations about the bus and just waving them out the door to go off to school by themselves. Um, but saying that, it, you know, it's, it's all been fine, hasn't it? It's been great. And taking a bit of responsibility for having the right books and making sure they've got PE kit on the right day. Um, it's not quite the same as leaving it in school for half a time like they used to do at, at primary school. Just being a bit more responsible for it. Yeah, that's true. Really needs. Every day's different, isn't it? So, yeah. 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 I think um, Freya's definitely found it you know, really easy because of the village set up. I don't know if Dean's found the same, but just yeah. it's not been quite such a big shock. It's just been a nice kind of steady transition because they felt quite um, safe in their little kind of village place as well. Yeah, no, I think that's that's quite true for Liam as well. And, and I think from him, he possibly had a few concerns about maybe mixing with the bigger children, but because of the village, it, it is a safer environment. and. You know, the only children they really see are their other year sevens and eights, and, yeah. and that makes that transition a bit easier for them in terms of worries and concerns they have. Yeah, but it's nice that they can, if they wanted to go out around the school as well, if they feel confident enough to, they can, but then they don't have to. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's definitely helped. Yeah, I was I was nervous, um, and I think on his first day, Liam was, but he um, he says he quite enjoys it and. They have a laugh with some of the other children, and he's mixed. He's mixed a little bit with some year nines that he sits with. Um, so overall, I think he's found that that fine, and he likes the the independence of walking down the hill himself in the morning and getting on his bus and and finding his seat and finding his own way. I think. Yeah, I think Freya. She said um, after the first week, the bus was one of the best best bits of her day. <laughs> yeah. um, just sitting with her friends, where there's no parents, but just again feeling really safe from the journey. And the bus drivers are all really friendly, and yeah, she's found it. Found it really good. Yeah, I knew Liam's clearly likes the bus. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was concerned about Liam eating junk food every single day because I remember what canteens were like when I was at school. But actually, aside from the fact he's treated it like an all-inclusive holiday, <laughs> um, <laughs> we've overcome some budgeting issues. Um, he likes, he, again, he likes the independence and, and he knows at the beginning of the week how much money he's got and he, he budgets each day for that to save up for a donut on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I know Freya's been the same. She's um, she's um, She was quite apprehensive about the school dinners, I'll be honest, but she's asking me if she can have extra dinners every week. So we're... We're going for less pat lunches now because she just likes being able to choose what she wants with her friends and yeah. I suppose it gives them a lot more independence and there's a great menu. Yeah, I know Liam loves the menu and he said there's some salads that he's, he's found this week which yeah. surprised me because um, it's got green food in it but he <laughs> seem, does seem to be enjoying it which is good. And we can check up what they've eaten as well and what they've spent which is handy. I like that. With the app. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so far so good. Um, I had to email Liam's geography teacher and tutor one day with just a, quer a query I had um, and I had a phone call back within less than half an hour. Um, the geography te his geography teacher hadn't wanted to leave it over the weekend and wanted to give me an answer so, you know, as far as I'm concerned that's been fantastic. Yeah, I found the parent mail app really good so any new information, forms to sign, everything's on there. Um, and we've got our touch base calls actually later today with the, the form tutors. Um, so that'll be good just to kind of find out how they're settling from the tutor's point of view. But yeah, I've had no problems with communication. And again, Freya's been able to email her teachers if she's got any questions about homework or anything, so. I like that homework app as well, that's brilliant, just for them to be able to submit it. And we can also see their feedback as well, yeah. which is, I think that's quite nice. It's, you know, going from the primary environment where you get constant feedback from, from the teachers, I wasn't quite sure how that was going to be, but to see that, you know, you can just go onto Firefly and have a look at what, what they've done um, and what the teacher said about what they've done, I think is really, it's really good for me. It's, it's, yeah. It puts my mind at ease, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, our Freya's absolutely loved it. I think it's great that she can communicate with her teachers whenever she wants to. Um, and she can look at all her homework that's due and mark it complete when it's done. Um, obviously the teachers can send resources and things as well to help with homework. Um, and I think she just likes being responsible for an iPad. Yes, yeah, she loves Rich it. Is, uh, sorry Rich, Liam is very technologically minded. Um, so the iPad for him was um, a really good thing that he can, it's really, 
tangible, they can see their homework and they, like you say, see when it needs to be done and, and once they've done it, it's marking it off and it's that to do yeah. with shrinking, isn't it? So that's been a really good tool for him to use. Yeah. And I think the resources help me as much as they do him when we're trying to tackle the homework. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs>